console log is probably the most popular way to output some information to console in JavaScript. But there are some other methods that is useful to know. For instance, there is console info. It works the same way as log does, and I wasn't able to find any information about how are they different. So in this case, I recommend to stick with log as it is more popular. Next method is debug. Hmm, and by default, it doesn't show anything. But if you open console sidebar, you will see that we actually have three user messages. One of them is verbose. This is the debug message. And you can see it if you toggle the verbose check mark. You will start seeing the debug messages as well. And this is very useful when even in development mode, you have certain messages that are not usually needed, but they're useful just sometimes. So you might want to output them as debug message. Next one is warn. And it's very handy that it is highlighted with the yellow background and small exclamation mark. And also it goes to its own category, warnings. So it's very easy to filter. For example, React applications often output information like when iterating over an array of items, each of them should have a key prop defined or something like this. So it's very useful when you need to warn your user that something is wrong. Next goes error. This is for cases when something is so severely wrong that it is actually an error. And good part about both warn and error is that they have a stack trace. So it's easy to find where did stuff go wrong. So now you know semantic methods to output data in JavaScript. You know that you can filter them using console side menu. And you can actually toggle specific levels using the check marks.